Hi, my name is Emma. I'm the head bitch in charge from Fat Girl Food Squad, and I'm here to talk about the journey I've been through and coming to love my body. Since 2009, I've gone through some ups and downs with uh, dieting and sort of um, overeating and that kind of thing. Um, I'm definitely not a skinny person. I'm very, um, got some weight to me. Um, but back in 2009, I was, um, always encouraged by some family members that I should, uh, go on a diet. And so I was enrolled in Weight Watchers and I was also told at one point that I should go on Dr. Bernstein's, which I never did, but, um, I did go on Weight Watchers. And, um, when I did go on Weight Watchers, I was ride or die doing this. I have the cookbook here, which I used to use all the time. And uh, I always used to keep track of all my points. And I don't know if you guys can see this here, but I would keep track of all of my calories and how many calories I'd burn and the intake that I had and how much exercise I was doing each day. So like if I did 25 minutes of elliptical or if I drank a Diet Coke or ate some slices of cucumber that day. And I mean, the thing is, is that when I was doing this, each week I would go into my meetings and I would be really excited. I would take off my shoes and I would take off my socks and I would take off my belt and I would get on that scale and I would wait to see how much weight I would lost. And some weeks I would go in there after doing all of this and they would tell me I hadn't lost a single pound. And I mean, you'd have to understand that it's kind of demoralizing when you're going through something like this obsessively writing down everything and your leader tells you that you haven't lost a single pound and when you ask them why you haven't lost anything they tell you that you've done something wrong like perhaps you so you know it's it's a little demoralizing and they tell you that probably it's because you drank an extra uh, an extra sugary alcohol drink or that you haven't exercised enough or that you haven't done something. So, I mean, after all of that, I decided that um, this wasn't the plan for me because clearly it wasn't something wrong that with me, it was something wrong with this program. And I came to realize that I didn't need this because I loved myself and dieting wasn't for me. I could still eat all of the good foods that I was doing and still be healthy because it was fine. So from that moment on, from 2000 on, 2009 on, I um, began to love myself from the inside out. And I realized that if even if I was fat, it didn't matter. People would need to accept that I loved me regardless of the size that I was. And it took a lot of people to really understand that when I called myself fat they were like don't do that that's really demoralizing to yourself and that's kind of what we're doing with fat girl food squad is we're trying to take that word back um since then too I've also had the opportunity to pose for some people in an artistic way um with my body and it's been really empowering and it's been really great and the thing is is that I love this voice and this expression that I've been able to have with my with my body and myself each day that I get to look in the mirror it's been a journey and it's been a long haul since 2009 and it's not like one day after I stopped dieting and I stopped those Weight Watchers meetings that it's just like I looked in the mirror and I started loving myself again it's uh it's definitely been day by day and there's days when I look at myself and I have harder days than others but I've always been more of a confident person and I feel like from 2009 onwards it's been like I had the voice to say no 
I'm not doing this. I'm not going to tell let someone tell me that I have to be thin to be beautiful. I'm going to be the person that says I can be who I want to be.